Save your money. <laughs> get the regular color reveal. Hey everybody, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And you know that I was in love with Barbie color reveal last year. I still am in love with Barbie color reveal. I still have some of the new ones. I have one of the original ones. I've got the mermaids. I did when I cleaned the studio, I did let go of the wall of tubes of water that I had. I, but I did keep, I have, I have the pink sparkly and I have the dark blue sparkly. I have one of each. Um, it was crazy because I felt like I was turning into one of those people who like saves their urine. Um, <laughs> and I needed the shelves and I didn't know what to do with all that water. I was like, what am I gonna do with this? So anyway, so there's a new Barbie color reveal. Showed up on Amazon, it's $29.99. I'll put a link down below that is an affiliate link. If you use that link, I will get a tiny little commission which will allow me to buy more of these maybe. I bought two of them. I'm hoping that wasn't a mistake. So apparently there isn't water. It's called Barbie Color Reveal and Peel, okay? And there's something on the back that looks like, I just, I gotta say what it looks like. It looks like a heart-shaped toilet. Doesn't that look like a heart-shaped toilet? Come on. <laughs> so there are 25 surprises in here, but instead of sticking her in water, so it's kind of like, it's a little bit like an advent calendar because I see perforations. And I saw what they looked like. It looks like instead of sticking her in water, she's just got some like plastic, like vinyl that we're just gonna peel off her, which seems inappropriate. But <laughs> I'm curious. I'm very curious. I'm very curious about what the dolls look like. And there are uh, three, please tell me I didn't buy two of the same thing. So there's a fairy reveal. There is, what is that? A mermaid reveal and a unicorn reveal. So there are three kinds. Um, and it looks like we've got sort of like a white, a Latina kind of, and a black doll. So that's good. Um, there's a pet, there's jewelry. There's a lot of stuff in here that I'm not gonna be interested in, but I'm just very, I'm very interested and I'm very curious. That's the word. Uh, there's one doll, one pet, two complete looks. Oh gosh, there's sparkle slime. I was not aware there was slime. Wearable surprise. Oh, there's something for me to wear and color changes. So I guess at some point, oh yes, there is water involved. Oh, okay. And the toilet is where we're going to make the slime. Okay. And then the color change is for the pet and the doll's hair. Okay. So let's get everything unboxed and we'll take a look at everything and then we'll do the color change in the slime at the end. I'm so excited about that. So I'm going to unbox this in front of you because, um, you know, uh, so I guess first we need to get it out of this plastic that's covering everything. Um, but I want to do it in a way that I don't ruin the surprise by opening the back first. Cause I've done that. I've done that. Have you done that? So I'm assuming the plastic comes off. Yeah, here. Okay. So yeah. So this big plastic that's covering all of it, I think is, it's gotta come off. It's gotta come off. It has to come off, but don't, don't ruin it for everybody, Melissa. I'm trying not to ruin it for everybody. I'm trying. But much like that trip to Seaside when I was seven, I probably will ruin it for everybody. You're like, what has that got to do with anything? So my family, it's story time while I'm cutting through this. I'm sure this is not how you do it. Um, but it doesn't say on the back how to get in here. So we were going to Seaside Heights, which is the beachside amusement park here in New Jersey. Uh, there are two of them, Point Pleasant and Seaside. But at the time, Seaside was the better one. Um, and this was not something we did often in my family. This was a big deal. This was a very, very, very big deal. Okay, parents, this part you're going to have to do for your kid. Because um, otherwise they're going to slice their hand open trying to do this. Okay, so I've got that. Okay, there we go. Woo! All right. So now I've got... Oh, okay, good. Good to know that this doesn't just fall off. I was afraid that this was somehow going to fall off. And then you've got this at the back. So I was very excited... And we used to have telephones that had wires that attached to the wall. And we had extremely long wires because we had one telephone. 
and you could actually bring that telephone all the way from the living room to the kitchen. Um, you could almost make it into the bathroom with it and you could sort of make it to the edge of my grandmother's bedroom. Um, it was a very long wire. And so my grandmother used to very commonly have the phone in the kitchen with her so she could talk on the phone to her sisters while she was cooking. And so there'd be a telephone wire stretched, kind of like a trip wire, stretched across the living room. And so I came running out of my room, which was the furthest from the kitchen. I was very excited because my mom was like, okay, everybody, it's time to go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And we were going to Seaside. I came running out of my room and I, of course, tripped over the telephone wire and it was the 70s. So, of course, there was a glass topped table and I face planted into the glass topped table. <laughs> face planted. Yes, I did. So, luckily, you're like, wow, you look good. The only thing, magically, the only thing that happened was I sliced my, my nostril, like, I kind of caught the corner of a piece of glass and it sliced my nostril, my right nostril, my left nostril kind of like off of my face. And then I also had a cut, but it didn't even require stitches. It was just a laceration, but the, not stitches. But basically my nostril was like flapping off of my face. Um, and uh, so we didn't go to Seaside that day. And to this day, my brothers will tell you how I ruined the trip because I'm a klutz. My grandmother, of course, always took responsibility saying that she shouldn't have had the wire stretched across the living room like she always did. And my mother always pointed out that I knew better than to run in the house. So ultimately, really my fault. But we did this whole thing and I had to have, they, they waited. My mother wouldn't let anyone stitch me up except a plastic surgeon because it was her face. And I'm glad that she did because they attached everything from the inside of my nose. So the outside of my nose, I just have like a tiny scar that you probably can't even see on the camera. But on the inside of my nose, it is completely messed up in there. It is just all scar tissue and nasty and, but whatever, but I look good. So anyway, what the heck does that have to do with this? I don't know, nothing. So the first thing I think we're supposed to do is because there's a little tab here that says we're supposed to pull this. So we're gonna pull this. Okay, that worked well. All right, okay. <laughs> we're, 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 we're off to a good start here. Okay, so that reveals the doll. Okay, I am having like crushing hot flashes today. So I apologize. It's gonna be like sweater on, sweater off. So this is our surprise. <gasps> what is it? Um, now you're gonna see what I mean about the peel and reveal. I just like cut myself with the scissors. <gasps> oh, she pretty. Okay. So, now normally, we would be able to stick her in water and make something magical happen. But from what I understand, I'm supposed to peel this off? Are there instructions? Please, Lord, let there be instructions. So far, no instructions. <laughs> instructions on the back here? No. Okay, we're going to keep going until we find out how to do this. Okay. So I don't know that this has to be done in any order. So there's like a little door up here. Oh my gosh. I did all these advent calendar videos for Happy Kids TV, which is a kid safe um, video platform. And um, it was a lot of fun, except for one thing, trying to open, I did two, I did two advent calendars, trying to open the doors with my fingers was brutal. All right, so here's, oh, here's a whole bunch of baggies. Oh instructions okay so look there's like a swimming pool look i think this is to put the water in oh that's cool oh i like that i like that i don't well i still have to go get water but you know what i mean okay mm, mm, mm. all right there i still wrecked the box okay so there's that and then there's another one down here yeah i was not aware there was slime i'm not like a huge fan of making slime because i'm really bad at it and here's some more stuff oh and this and they all have yes so there's water because they all have like little water symbols on them and then there's some up here uh or something over here by her nose what am i doing what's going on here how do i get this open all right here we go so this is probably a lot of fun for kids Ta -da! um you know, it's an opening experience. I'm gonna, res I'm, I'm reserving, I just, I really like the calming ooh-ah of the water. We know that, right? I think we all know that I really took that to new levels of excitement. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. I mean, they did say 27 more, more, more places to put stuff. Um, 
and then over here there's another one over here and then there's one more over here um and color reveal did win doll of the year i feel like that was kind of oh and there's one more over here that was kind of the wrong category for that to be in um because i think it was really innovative certainly and i really really loved it but i don't think the dolls themselves or there's just one thing in here uh were particularly all right i think i got everything okay so parents all of these doors open like i said it's like an advent calendar so there's lots of fun for that and you can even do something like if you kind of wanted to stretch this out across the week um, to get you through a week of, of homeschool, which I'm glad that more and more kids are going back to school because um, I think they really need that. They really need that. Um, but I, I uh, you know, like every day we open a door till we get to the end of the week because there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven doors. Hmm. So this is the doll. She's really cute. I think she's the... I think she's the fairy. Yes, she's the fairy. And um, she's got a cute face. She's got some cute makeup. I think her hair does color change. Uh, we're going to find out about this peeling situation when we read the instructions. All right. So here we go. These are our three dolls to collect in the Barbie peel, Barbie color peel and reveal. Barbie surprise peel and reveal. Color reveal, okay. It's called Barbie color reveal peel. That's what it's called, okay? Get it right. So, A, we take the doll out of the package. B, we peel the stuff off her. C, we open up all this stuff. Okay. D, her makeup changes in hot and cold water. E, her clothes, her outfit does something. F, dress her. G, open up a bunch of stuff. H, open up the pet. I, the pet changes color. J, uh, pour the stuff into the, the toilet. K, make a charm bracelet for yourself and um and then just have fun changing everybody's colors and stuff so these these are the these are the rules these are the rules of the road okay so uh colors and decorations may vary doll cannot stand alone store the slime in the tray after use okay all right so i think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move all this over here our 25 surprises and we are going to peel the doll I'm not even going to cue the relaxing music because I have a feeling this might not be relaxing. Although what it does sort of remind me of already is they should give you a tool. Oh, oh, wow. It peels pretty easily. You know what this feels like? This feels like, um, like scratch off lottery tickets. <laughs> oh, this is, but okay. So here's what it reminds me of. Older, older kids will, older kids, old adults my age, people who grew up in the 70s, maybe the 80s will remember. This is so not satisfying. Does it come off her legs too? Or are her legs going to stay this color? I think her legs stay this color. Wait, I just got to get off her booty. Just get it off her booty. That's it. Her legs don't, it doesn't come off her legs. Does it come off her legs? I don't know. Does it? Maybe it does. I'm trying. Here. Eh. Oh yeah, it does come off her legs. Is it? Is it supposed to? I don't know. Okay, there you go. Um, all right, that might be a little satisfying. Do you remember when you used to get a sunburn and then your skin would peel and you would just sit there and like peel your skin? But did you ever have a friend who like sat behind you in school who would like, <laughs> who would like be like, Psst, can I peel you? <laughs> And they would peel your skin off. <laughs> You're like, ew, no. Come on. Yes, you did. You know you did. Um, did you ever put Elmer's glue on your hands um, and then let it dry and then peel it off? That's what this is like. I mean, if you like to peel stuff off, I guess, you know, if that's your jam. But this is so not as satisfying as the water. <laughs> it's... it's Right now, trying to get this off is like uh, is like spray on shoes from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. 
<laughs> Flee Lockwood! You're a shenaniganizer! Oh my gosh. Yeah. Spray on shoes. It's definitely spray on shoes. I can't get this off her feet. Oh my gosh. This is so not satisfying. I mean, it might be. Maybe for other people. I feel like for kids, maybe. Maybe it's fun. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm very disappointed. <laughs> All right, let me work on the other leg. So, what's going on? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Still waiting to get vaccinated. How about you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, there we go. So, her legs are sort of like a galaxy kind of... Um, not galaxy, but they're like blue with like little white sparkles on them. The dolls are the same uh, quality as the other ones, um, ugh, except that they have hair. Um, <laughs> except they have hair. Uh, they don't have the nasty wigs. All right, the feet is definitely spray on shoes. This is this is definitely Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, which is a great movie, a highly underrated movie. Very underrated movie. And, and you know what's really great is Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2 is actually good also, um, which I think is amazing because it's very rare that um, that uh, that a sequel is is that good, especially to, you know, I mean, but it's a great movie. We love that movie. We absolutely love that movie. It, it's the Fliz Defer. <laughs> You're like, woman, well, you have watched that movie way too many times. I love that movie. We haven't watched We should watch it. We haven't watched it in a long time. We should watch it. Okay. I'm trying to get the foot off. This is making me crazy. I got it! All right. So, okay. So now I've peeled off the stuff, which is like nowhere near as exciting. So this is, oh, sorry. I missed a spot. This is what she looks like with her stuff peeled off. So she has blue legs. Um, she's very cold. And uh, she's got this bodice on, and then she's got a stripe of purple hair. And like, I don't even want to open the other one. <laughs> I think that's getting donated. All right, let's start opening stuff. What's this? I can't wait to find out what this is. I'm so excited. I mean, I'm sure kids will dig it, honestly. But for those of us who were enjoying the whole water thing, oh, look. It's her fairy wings. Yay! It Velcros. I guess it Velcros to something that we don't have yet. Yay! Now, I could use these in the Winx TV show. Whoa! Winx, the fate, whatever. Oh my god. All right, here we go. Here's another bag. Oh god. You know what really annoyed me about that show? Here's our little for when we, we do some color change stuff. I'm going to tell you what annoyed me about that show. Okay, wait. Hot flash over. I need to put my sweater back on. There were so many things that annoyed me about uh, Fate, the Winx saga, you know, other than that it was nothing like Winx. Um, but one of the things, when, ooh, wait, I think these are perforated. Oh, okay, all right, okay, thank you. Um, is that the uh, oh, little sunglasses, because you know, Barbie can't, can't make a thing without little sunglasses. They just churn out those little, oh, wait, there's something else in here. They just churn out those, oh, oh, oh and there's a little, there's a little bracelet. Little bracelet in there. Um, so one of the things that annoyed me was the character of Tara. So first of all, we got rid of Flora. Flora is Tara's older sister. But we... Oh, here's the little crown. I think this crown goes on the puppy. Woo! Right, this crown looks too small for her head. So Tara was... Um, was... Uh, um, so she was the trope of the plain, somewhat unattractive big girl. Like, I'm like, why couldn't we have one of the characters be built like me, who was also stylish and had like, you know, like make, you know, like liked makeup and hair and stuff like that, but was also an earth fairy. Was it, is it earthy because she doesn't wear makeup and stuff and she's frumpy and she makes her own clothes or is she earthy because she's she's bigger or what? Like, why did they just put that all into one person? Like, couldn't somebody who was, um, you know, tall and skinny be awkward? Like, why did it have to be her? I was, I was really annoyed by that. Very annoyed. Very, very annoyed. Okay, so we got our first locket piece. It's a little Barbie locket. It actually opens up. This is cute. This is cute. This could be cute because maybe like you could give this to a friend. Does this open? I think it opens, but I don't think my hands can actually accomplish that. It looks like it opens. Uh, 
by Herculean effort, I might get it open. I think if you had really tiny hands, you could open it. If you had really tiny hands and you weren't wearing fake nails and you didn't have MS, you could probably open it like that. On the other hand, oh, oh, and you put the little sticker inside. So you put the picture of this little bunny in there. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I need to get this open so I can put my sticker of my bunny in there. Um, so I was annoyed by that. Um, I, was, I was annoyed by a lot in that show. There was something and there was some, some, there was just some really badly handled lots of stuff in there that I didn't like, but um, that was one of the main things that ticked me off. But I mean, overall, I mean, it was like a, su ow, don't let your kids do that. It was like a super, it was like a, it was like a CW supernatural, you know, show, but it was on Netflix. Um, so I think maybe they cursed. I can't get this stupid thing open. Um, I'm gonna have another hot flash now because I can't get the stupid thing open. I can't get the cap off. All right, so anyway, there's a bunny sticker that goes inside the locket and let's just pretend that happened. Okay, because I don't really want this video to be five hours long while I struggle to open something. All right, so we got something else here. Oh, I love that they're perforated. That's very, okay. This is another crown. It's the same size as the first crown though. So maybe she just has two crowns, you know, cause it says she comes with two outfits, right? So maybe she has different crowns for her different outfits. Okay, now we're getting to shoes. Oh, my clothes are done drying. I'm go oh, I like the shoes. All right, the shoes are cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the shoes, shoes are very cool. Oh, very spiky. I'll be right back, I just need to open and close the dryer door or every 10 minutes it's gonna buzz at me. <sighs> Barbie color peel and reveal. Yeah, okay. Um, what's in here? I don't care. Okay. <laughs> this is the, the toilet where we're gonna make the slime. There's the slime. I don't even think we're making the slime. I think this is just is the slime and then we're supposed to put something in it, which is good because I don't, I'm not real good at making slime. Um, here we go, let's open this. Yay! Oh, wait, where's my, uh, I can't remember. I actually wrote down because I was gonna make a rant video and then I didn't about Fate the Wink Saga. Let's just hope that Nickelodeon does a better job with Monster High. There is this little tiny scrunchie in here. It's very cute. This, oh, you get to peel the pet too. So as if the pet had a sunburn and was healing, now we get to peel the pet. Let me put on my glasses so I can peel the pet. You know, for that really satisfying uh, feeling of peeling vinyl off of a tiny little rabbit. There we go. Ooh. Now I'm sure that there are going to be like um, toy channels that do this and make it like it's the most fun thing that you could ever do. <laughs> My advice, honestly, parents, swear to God, just buy the other ones, just buy the water ones. Cause this is like, I don't know. Just buy the water ones. They're so much more fun. <laughs> I know this one comes with more stuff, but they do have the sleepover one that comes with a lot of stuff. And that's probably on clearance now. And they had the other ones, the like dog park. And I mean, this is so lame. Oh, really? This is not at all satisfying. It's just annoying. It's just annoying me. It really is. Very annoying. Ugh. Eh. Eh. Not fun. Not fun. Not fun. Not at, not at all as fun as Barbie and the Carbonite. And how am I supposed to get this off her little tail? I'm gonna leave it on the stupid tail. That's right. Your tail's gonna stay that color. I can't get that crap off the tail. And it's stuck on her ear. All right, look, it's a little Paul Stanley bunny. Look, little Paul Stanley bunny. And not getting the crap off your tail. You're stuck like that. What? Why? Why? Because I, I can't. I can't. I just, I can't. Come on, we'll try. Try. Don't leave me like that. That's very uncomfortable. Oh, all right. I got it. I got it. I got it. Thank you. Thank you. I feel so bad. Oh, I'm such a, I am just such a weirdo. There you go. And your little monochromatic tail looked better when it had a color. I know, but it was uncomfortable. Okay. Now, um, we still have many bags to open. Oh, all right. <laughs> we need cool music and we need to speed this up. Okay. This is the stuff we're going to put in the slime. Yay. I can't even pretend to be excited. 
this point. I'm wasting good filming time on this. Here's her outfit. Okay, this explains why she has galaxy legs. Okay, I could be playing Animal Crossing right now. Man, I got terraforming unlocked on my one island. I'm very excited. I have two islands. Oh, come on. Give me a freaking break. This is her shirt. It's a piece of mylar. I can't, I can't even. Literally, I could be playing. And here's the charm bracelet for the, the locket that I can't, I can't open. Um, yeah, I could be playing Animal Crossing. Well, actually I could be farming, farming. I could be farming, well, I could be farming. Got a nice pumpkin patch. I didn't know that, oh, oh, but she also has jeans. So when she wants to pretend to not be a fairy, I, um, I, I didn't realize, so I got pumpkins like when I first started the game and then I didn't realize that they were like, that they were good money. And at some point I like, I don't know what I did with my pumpkins. I think I threw them in the trash or some stupidity like that. Look, she comes with the brush, yay. And um, and then I was like freaking out because I found out that pumpkins were worth a lot of money. I don't, I've never gotten turnips because I'm always in church, virtual church went, look, look here, it's something, it's a dog collar, rabbit collar, I think. Okay, so we've opened everything. Those were all of the bags. And we've got, we've got a skirt. Parents, just forget it, don't. Just <laughs> I'm gonna open, this is gonna be the cold opening for the video. Save your money. <laughs> get the regular color reveal. Let me put on her mylar. Just, just get the cool color reveal. I don't even know what the heck they were thinking. And charging $29 for this. Come on. All right, donating the other one. Now, how am I supposed to get this on her if her arms don't bend? Huh, Mattel? Huh? Riddle me this, Batman. All right, I did it, okay. There we go. Oh my God, look at this. Let's just stick her freaking stupid. <laughs> Do we even care about the, I don't even care about the color change right now. There, there you go. Look, does this look like, this This looks like a costume that your mom made for like a school play when you were in preschool, okay? She's like, here, wear a shower curtain and I'm gonna cut some le some 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 wings out of some sparkly poster board and Velcro them to your back. And yeah, there you go. Saran wrap and some poster board. Poof, you're a fairy. <laughs> Wait, let's put the shorts on her. <laughs> she didn't put the crown on her, Melissa. She's very very salty about the whole thing right now. Okay, look, look. Now she's not a fairy. Now she's just a dipstick wearing this ugly vest and these cutoffs, but she's got these really cool boots. You're being so mean to me. Look, girl, you know, I'm humiliated. I don't even want to call myself Barbie. <laughs> this does not bode well for Monster High. <laughs> the same people who made this are making the Monster High reboot. God help us. Please. Please, God. I can't. I just can't. I'm going to make the slime just because. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. All right, so this is what she looks like when she's visiting her friends in Gardenia. And then she wears the glasses to cover up her, her fairiness. <laughs> Here, let's put a stupid crown on your head. There you go. Uh, there we go. There you go. She's got a crown. Look, look. She's got a crown. All right. Let's make the stupid slime. I'm not doing the color reveal. I'm not wasting time going up and down the stairs <laughs> to get water. I'm just not. Okay, so here's the slime. Eh. Eh. Ooh, it's pretty though. It's pretty slime. All right. So I think we're supposed to pour it in here. Eh. Eh. Watch it wiggle. See it jiggle. By the way, Dr. Squish, who you may know if you love squishies and slime, now has a gaming channel. She's one of my really good friends and she she's one of the moms that got me into Animal Crossing. And uh, we had a play date on our islands and this is like just really disgusting. <laughs> um, <laughs> get, just get. Um, and oh, what is at the bottom of this? There's something in it. Why would you put something in the slime? There's like a baggie in the slime. Okay. I'll wipe my hand on her skirt. 
this video ain't going on happy kids to play that shit right now <laughs> so i just cursed all right i think that we're supposed to cut this open oh it's another charm look it's like a little tinkerbell charm which also looks like that 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 like sexy girl that they put on the back of um I don't know if this is the bunny's collar, but I'm putting it on the bunny. Look, now the bunny has a collar. Um, you know, like on mud flaps and stuff. Is this scrunchie supposed to go on Barbie's hair? Or does it go around the, the dolls? Or the, 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 I was going to call it a rat. Here we go. We're going to put the scrunchie on Barbie, even though, no, it doesn't fit. Okay. Um, okay, let's put this stuff in the slime. What was I just talking about? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. We've been rewatching Grey's Anatomy, um, and you know what? Derek was always a dick. Just want to say, <laughs> he just always was. Like, you know, it's supposed to be this great love story. It's not. Like, it's really not. He was just. He was just wrong. He was just wrong. I don't. I don't find that romantic at all. So I poured all of my little mo my moon and stars. Now that was sort of romantic, except for the you know lack of consent in the beginning there, but. Um, okay, so now we've got moons and stars in our slime. My moon and stars. Okay. But apparently Jason Momoa is pretty awesome about the whole, you know, discomfort thing. Okay. There's just little mylar moons and stars falling all over the place. Okay. See? We have slime. Boogie, 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 boogie. A boogie, 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 boogie. Achoo! Okay. Um... <laughs> So mature. Okay, so yeah, so that's the Barbie color reveal and peel. It's $29.99. There's a link to it down below if for some reason after seeing this you feel like this is still something you want to subject your children to. Um, I was trying to be like really positive in the beginning because I was thinking, well, maybe it's going to be cool, but it's really not. <laughs> it's very disappointing. I'm very disappointed. You know, I have to clean up this mess. So, um, yeah, rock on. So, okay. So, yeah, we're not going to open the other one. It's going to get donated. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I hope you found this complete fail uh, amusing. And if you're disappointed about not getting to see me color reveal crap in hot and cold water, then I'm sorry. Forgive me, Father, I have sinned. Okay. All right. Let's go play with some real Barbies. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon. Love you. Bye.